Some local holiday celebrations have come to a halt as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Lenten Freedom Festival announced their parade cancellation last week. Lindsay Jackson spoke with parade organizers and found out what led them to make the decision. Lindsay. The Lenten Freedom Parade has been around for more than 100 years, and parade organizers say the cancellation wasn't an easy move to make. It's not something that was done overnight. It wasn't something that was done in one meeting. Linton Stockton Chamber of Commerce canceled their annual Linton Freedom Festival due to COVID-19 concerns. Cheryl Hamilton, executive director of the Linton Stockton Chamber of Commerce, says they had to prepare for the worst. There's just a lot of things that went in, into play. It's uh, at any point in time, if the governor decides that he's not going to reopen the next phase, then we in a world of hurt. Festival activities like the fireworks show are sponsored by local businesses that have been closed due to the pandemic. We just could knock on those doors and say, hey, how about giving us, you know, X number of dollars to help with an event when they've been closed? You know, that's, 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 we just could not do that. You know, our conscience wouldn't let us do that. Hamilton says the safety of Greene County residents and other festival goers was their main concern. Are, are we pulling from a Lake County or a St. Joe that's got really high numbers, okay. you know, and are they going to infect somebody in our community and is it going to be widespread? And that's kind of a slap in the face into our healthcare professionals as well, yeah. is that we invited this into our community, now it's their battle. Festival goers from the Greene County area say they understand the Chamber's decision. Um, I kind of understand it because uh, all, everything that's going on, like, it makes me nervous going out in public, you know, so. I understand. Yeah, I think it's just the, the changing times and people just have to adapt to what we have to deal with now. The Linton Stockton Chamber of Commerce plans to meet in two weeks to begin discussing preparations for next year's parade.